I know your customer success team really do make an extra effort. It's one of the reasons why I, I love representing you guys like as an affiliate and, and sharing your, your platform wherever I get the opportunity. How have you managed to create that culture within your customer success team that they are so passionate about interacting with customers and, and supporting them? What have you done? What, you, what would you say was the key to creating that environment? Well, I think with any team, uh, it starts from hiring and you need to make sure that you hire based on the values that you're having and, and uh, to hire the types of people that you would like to work for and the types of people that you would like uh, to basically uh, be out of the faith of your company. Uh, because e each of my colleagues at one point or in, in, in some aspects are the faith uh, of our company. Um, and then it's also about trying to instill a culture uh, of doing the right things in the way that you would like them to do. So, for example, we have our values that are, are clearly written down and we try to remind people of them. We have also like all sorts of internal uh, phrases that we're saying uh, to remind people of the things that are important to us. Uh, we highlight the um, the good parts that we see uh, that we see happening. We also love it when our customers uh, um, reply, and sometimes they just write me personal notes to to say how much they liked the interaction with a colleague of a, or another one. And I always share those notes with the team so we can um, we can celebrate that together. So over time, um, this culture uh, emerges, and then it's also important to see that if there are people who are not uh, in line with that culture to uh, maybe uh, uh, get them uh, in line or to, to try to have them find a place where they would be um, uh, a better fit for, for that other culture. And also to making sure that it's something that is a culture that self-replicates. So uh, basically it also says that uh, uh, a culture is what happens when you're not in the team or like when, when you're not in the room, when the manager is not in the room, uh, the same thing should happen. Um, and most of the team we've been working together for quite some time. We like grew up together in this project, so uh, th that's why it's also easier for everybody to work um, in uh, in the same uh, way and to uh, really de dedicate themselves to our our customers. Because especially now in the day of AI uh, and in uh, in the time where technology is somehow easier and easier to build, so all of the platforms will have more or less the same functionality over time. Uh, it's really important to have a, cul uh, a customer success team, which is like real humans who are treating their customers as real humans uh, and to try to help, but also try to be empathic, which is something that AI might mimic, uh, but won't be able to, to uh, be uh, that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can see that like, yeah, it reflects well in your team. Um, it's, it really is a testament. Um, I guess. The next question I would love to ask you then, and and I'm gonna I'm gonna tailor this a little bit to social media specifically, 